I always said that the whole point of this meeting in Loch Erne is to fire up our economies and drive growth and prosperity around the world, to do things that make a real difference to people's lives. And there is no more powerful way to achieve that than by boosting trade. And there's no better way than by launching these negotiations on a landmark deal between the European Union and the United States of America. A deal that could add as much as 100 billion pounds to the EU economy, 80 billion pounds to the US economy, and as much as 85 billion pounds to the rest of the world. And we should be clear about what these numbers could really mean. Two million extra jobs, more choice and lower prices in our shops. We're talking about what could be the biggest bilateral trade deal in history. A deal that will have a greater impact than all the other trade deals on the table put together. Today is a special day for the relation between the European Union and the United States. Today we announced we will start negotiations of a comprehensive transatlantic trade and investment partnership agreement. Very frankly, uh, two years ago, very few would have bet that today we'll be in the position to launch negotiations of an ambitious European Union United States free trade agreement. And when the teams of the European Commission and the United States will meet for the first round of negotiations next month, it will be the start of a joint undertaking of real strategic importance. Our regulators need to build bridges faster and more systematically. The current economic climate requires us to join forces and to do more with less. More importantly, in doing so, we will remain strong global players who set the standards for the 21st century. Therefore, I call on our legislators, European side, especially the European Parliament, our regulators, our civil society, to play a constructive and engaged part in these negotiations. The business communities on both sides of the Atlantic, in particular, have been a strong advocate of free trade and investment between Europe and the United States. As has already been mentioned, the US-EU relationship is the largest in the world. It makes up nearly half of global GDP. We trade about a trillion dollars in goods and services each year. We invest nearly four trillion dollars in each other's economies. And all that supports around 13 million jobs on both sides of the Atlantic. And this potentially groundbreaking partnership would deepen those ties. It would increase exports, decrease barriers to trade and investment, as part of broader growth strategies in both our economies, it would support hundreds of thousands of jobs on both sides of the oceans. Uh, there are going to be sensitivities on both sides. Uh, there are going to be politics on both sides. But if we can look beyond the narrow concerns to stay focused on the big picture, the economic and strategic importance of this partnership, uh, I'm hopeful we can achieve the kind of high standard, comprehensive agreement uh, that the global trading system is looking to us to develop. America and Europe have done uh, extraordinary things together before, and I believe we can forge an economic alliance as strong as our diplomatic and security alliances, which, are, of course, have been the most powerful in history. And by doing that, we can also strengthen the multilateral trading system. So this transatlantic trade and investment partnership is going to be a priority of mine and my administration. Uh, it is important that we get it right, and that means resisting the temptation to downsize our ambitions or avoid tough issues just for the sake of getting a deal. We both know there are no magic solutions. Recent economic turbulence underlines it. But we cannot expect to harvest new jobs today. We can plant the seeds for the jobs of tomorrow. And that's exactly what the trade agreement is about. Together, Europe and the United States are the backbone of the world economy, opening up that space further for opportunities for business and consumers is simply common sense. Not just our own economies, but also those of our trading partners will benefit. The positive ramifications will even go beyond the economy as such. We are making our economies all over the world more interdependent, and this will make the world safer. What is at, is at stake with the transatlantic free trade area is to enshrine Europe and America's role as the world's standard setters, 
beyond product specifications by setting a positive force in shaping the way we work and the way we live our daily lives. This is of key strategic significance. Ladies and gentlemen, the Atlantic is not the past. It is also the future.